Welcome to my YouTube channel, Learn This with Mahesh. So today we'll see how to deploy WordPress application on Cloud Run, the serverless option which we get in Google Cloud. So, and while we implement this, we'll also look into some of the best practices. So let's get started. So for this, uh, I'm going to go step by step. So first I need a VPC. The VPC is required for two scenarios. One is where we are going to create a Cloud SQL instance. The Cloud SQL instance would be created with internal IP address. So for that, we need the VPC and we'll be deploying this WordPress application in Cloud Run. So for Cloud Run to communicate with Cloud SQL instance for MySQL with internal IP address, we need a subnetwork. So that's what we are going to do it. So let's go ahead and create a VPC. So I'll call it as custom VPC then custom and i'll call it as subnet us central region is going to be us central so 192.168.100.0 slash 24 rfc 1918 standard 1918 standard so Turning on private Google Access is always a good choice. So no firewall rules. That's the highlight of the demonstration. So subnetwork is created. So we'll create this piece. So should take not less than a minute for it to be provisioned. Once the VPC is created, so subnetwork can take a time. So we don't need to worry about the subnetwork because the Cloud SQL instance is going to just need the VPC. So where it's going to do a peering with the tenant project so let's create this one so let me just refresh it i'll be switching multiple screens and uh, this entire video is done at one stretch no pausing so just wanted to show how quickly you can do that part that's the only reason for doing this okay so the vpc is created sub network should also be created or if it takes time no worries and firewall rule as i mentioned there's no firewall rule, but the important stuff is there's two implicit firewall rules. So deny all incoming traffic, allow all outgoing traffic. So that is always going to be there. So let me go to Cloud SQL instance. I'm going to create something with enterprise. So a smaller version should be good enough for this one. The instance ID, I'll call it as MySQL. Password, please make a note. So demo GCP. This is what we are going to use throughout the stuff. So for a best practice, it's always going to be good to have uh, two zones. So in US Central. And the most important configuration is going to be the one which we are going to do it now. No external IP address. It's always going to be with internal IP address. So this is going to require us to configure the private service access. So let's enable this. We are going to use automatic allocated IP range create this can take a minute or so for it to finish it so let's wait let's just wait for this piece so by the time this comes up what we will do is we'll go and configure our cloud run service both of these uh, cloud uh, for the cloud run we are going to deploy wordpress and php my admin so php my admin is going to be optional but if you install it, it would be easy for you to get into the system and do all the stuff. That's the only primary reason. So going to the WordPress part. So I'm going to use the latest version, which is like 6.6.1. So let's go ahead and do it. Both of them requires Cloud SQL instance IP address. By the time the instance gets provisioned, we should be able to do certain stuffs. So it's still going on. <coughs> this is the one. The name is good. I'm going to open it to the whole world. So allow unauthenticated invocation. Okay, so this is done. Now, I don't need anything else. If you want, you can turn on the protection. Uh, this is going to be always a good one. Create this. So this will take around seven minutes, if I'm not wrong. By the time it comes up, we will finish this piece of it. So you have given the name. That's the publicly available container image so let's go to the this thing this is going to be the most important thing so postgres listens on port 80 so as per this docker details so 
we are going to make it on port 80 that is one thing the next thing is uh, we also need to may have a service account that is something i missed it so let's go ahead and create a service account before we create the cloud run uh, service so i'll call this as something like sa wordpress php my admin so good and the highlight here is i will not give it a single role why we are doing this you will see it in a minute now so if i go to cloud run i'm going to create this one so that's the image it's going to pull it from docker hub allow unauthenticated invocation so that everybody can access it here port 80 so it's a repeat of what we did <clears throat> the security piece when you go it it is always going to show the compute engine default service account using compute engine default service account is not a best practice so that's why we are going to create it and wordpress in the future may use some plugins so those plugins could be in a google cloud storage bucket so at that point of time you may want to give the service account a role like storage related role, storage object viewer kind of stuff for now i'm not going to use any plugin so this should be good enough so that's the first part so then the networking so cloud run should be able to communicate with cloud uh, sql which is in the private it is going to have a private IP address. So what I'm going to do is previously people used to do this with VPC serverless uh, access connector. So that is not now required. We can use send traffic directly to VPC. So this is where I need that subnet. So hope it is making clear why we created a VPC and why we created the subnet. So that's the key connection part here. So this should be good enough and I have to have the last piece, which is the variables. So what are the variables? It is very nicely mentioned. So we have to copy these things. And when you're copying these things, please make sure there's no white space. So this should be good. So we'll call this uh, DB as uh, WordPress underscore DB. Now this has to be created in the Cloud SQL instance once the instance is up and running. So let's see whether the instance is up and running. It will take a little more time, but at least if it gets me the external IP address, I should be good here. So I'll save this, copy this, put it here. It's a MySQL instance, so it's going to be root. The password, demo DCP. Now, one best practice which we are missing here is it should be good to read it from a secret as an environment variable. I'm not doing it here. I'm putting it as a plain text. This could be an improvement uh, area, which I would say. So this, one important part, this database needs to be created. So once the instance is up, so it's still going on. So this place is what we have to create it so this button will be enabled once the instance is up let's wait for that part so i'm just going to wait till that comes up everything looks fine we have the networking we have and we are sending send traffic directly to vpc that is what we are saying um, which is a good one i would say so and uh, yeah this should be good enough what i will do is i'll create one more this is for our php my admin so this is the docker name docker image name allow unauthenticated location Again, this lessons on port 80. Security wise, we will use this. Uh, you have to use it. By hook or cook, there should be one service account. You cannot have cloud run without a service account. Uh, so there's nothing there. Networking, again, something which we have to do is. So route 
two VPC for outbound traffic. So we are going to use this one. So good. And one point here, if you see it here and here in both the sections, I'm routing only request to private IPs to the VPC. Most of the demos, they basically do route all traffic to VPC. We don't need that. So more better option is what we are trying to do it. So let's wait for our instance to be ready. If it is ready, we should be able to go ahead and, okay, still not yet. <clears throat> Murphy's law. So when it is supposed to happen, it is taking little time. So let's wait for that part. Oh, it, is, it is showing and it is not showing sometimes. No worries. Let's wait for. Yeah, it is now there. So let me just do this. Get the environment variables. So this is the DB. This is an important step, folks. So it cannot create a database by itself. So we have to create the database manually. So once you have created the database, all the necessary schemas will be created. So no issues with that. So we are good. Let's go ahead and click on create. By the time this gets created, we'll go and provision our PHP my admin. So for PHP my admin, you also have to have some of the environment variables. So that's the password. The white space is there. Make sure it is removed. Demo GCP. And since we are using, so all other stuffs are optional. So if you want, you can mention it. Otherwise, you can ignore it. We are going to ignore it. So another important stuff which I see is because we are going to use an external instance, they say you have to set something called as. P this one. You can specify MySQL instance host uh, if it is external. Yeah. So let me just. So this is MySQL admin host. So that is a Cloud SQL instance one which we have to give it. So the IP address is going to be. Then we have the stuffs. So a real quick check. Port is 80. We have the necessary variables. Then networking is properly done. Then security wise, we are using a user managed service account. So should be good. Let me see whether the WordPress is up and running. It is up and running. Looks good. So this one, let's just wait for this to be showing up. So I can close these stuffs. I don't need it. Now I'm just going to wait for this to come up. Uh, the reason is it is up. So first, let's log in to PHP my uh, my ad, PHP my admin. So root is a username, password is demo DCP. Demo DCP. Let's log in. <coughs> now I'm there. You can see the password what I type. So here, this is the one which we created. Now there's nothing. The reason why I wanted to first log into PHP my admin is what was the database which we created? It is simply there. So no schema has been created. So with that as a background, let me go to the WordPress URL. So you are going to get that URL, which is one of the capabilities of cloud run. So I'm going to use English. So site name, I can use this itself as my uh, title. Uh, WordPress on cloud run so username i'll call it as admin password i will remove and i'll make it as uh, demo this is not the best practice but i wanted to use the simplest one so gcp 2024 cloud run okay so good email address good so click on install the moment i do this one right what will happen here if we refresh this you can see this 
the schema, the necessary schema which is going to come. So one of the important one is WordPress options. That's one of the important table which I see where most of the settings are going to be there. So let's come here. So the password is this one. So let me save it. Login. Now, if everything is good, I should be able to get in. So that's something like how quickly we can have uh, the WordPress stuff running. So from here, you should be able to do all your stuff. This is going to be standard, right? So a quick summary, which I would like to share is we create a, a custom VPC with only one sub network, then no firewall rules. That was a highlight. Then we create a Cloud SQL instance with internal IP address. So this behind the scene is going to create VPC network peering between the um, tenant projects. So if you are interested in more details on that, so usually in my professional cloud architect training, I discuss more on that kind of a stuff. So if you're interested, you can uh, ping me on that. I can give you more details. So <clears throat> then WordPress, we literally use the uh, container image available in Docker Hub and we have provisioned it with uh, some of the environment variables. This is a place where we can have some improvements. So that is done and this Cloud Run interacts with Cloud SQL instance using internal IP address with the help of uh, connect directly to the VPC with that new feature. Lastly, we have our my admin also working, so which is uh, making more sense. So if I refresh it, I should see, uh, this is the only stuff which we see. Now, if you go ahead and look into the options, you should see all the details which we had mentioned. So, sorry, all the details which we mentioned, it shows up, all the details. So that's all I wanted to share here. So this is an implementation video. So if you have any questions, comments, please put it in the comments. Happy to uh, respond to that. Thank you.